In this video, I'm going to explain why I switched over from Obsidian to Neovim. I have the same file open here, this is Neovim. Here's the exact same file on Obsidian. I did use Obsidian for quite some time. If I go back in my commit history, here you'll see that I started around February last year. So I spent some time in Obsidian. I tweaked it a lot. I installed a lot of plugins. I spent hours configuring Obsidian, which we all do. I talked to my wife for Obsidian about hours and hours. So it's definitely a tool that I loved and I used a lot. Here you can see some of the plugins that I have installed in Obsidian. This is not going to be an Obsidian tutorial. I have two videos about Obsidian, the plugins that I use and all that. I'm going to leave those videos in the video description. But what happened? Then I met Neovim and I started editing text in Neovim. If I needed to create a script, I did it in Neovim. If I needed to edit any sort of file, I did it in Neovim. So I spent most of my day in the terminal, but then I still needed to go back to Obsidian to take notes. And that switching of context didn't feel good. I basically wanted to stay in my terminal to not interrupt my workflow. So I did that for a few months, edited my files in Neovim, then switched to Obsidian to take notes. Then I started editing my markdown files in Neovim, but I still kept going back to Obsidian because I couldn't see images in Neovim. And there are a few cases in which I need to take screenshots and paste them in a note. So that's basically the only reason why I still used Obsidian. But then something happened. I discovered that in Kitty, you can view and paste images in Neovim the same way that you do in Obsidian. Let me show you. Notice here that I'm in Kitty. My cursor is under an image. This is an image in the AVIF format. I hover over other images here, I can see them. Notice this is ABIF, this is a WebP image, this is a PNG, and this is a JPG image. Also, if I paste an image in Neovim, I have it configured so that it automatically saves the image in the ABIF format. I do that because of the size is way smaller and the quality is really high, but you can configure it to save it in different formats. Up to you. If you want to know how to do that, I also have a video. You'll be able to find it in the video description. So that was one of the few reasons that kept me going back to Obsidian images. Then I also met folds. Notice that all of my headings are folded. If I hit enter, on each one of them, I can unfold or fold the heading. This is a heading level two. Level three, I'm going to hit enter here, but I have other subheadings inside. I also created a key map. If I press leader MFU, it's going to unfold everything. I can navigate between headings. If I press GK, I go to the heading above. GK, GK, keep going up. If I press GJ, I go to the heading down. I can fold everything again. I can press leader MFK. It's going to fold everything up to level two. If instead I press leader MF. L and I fold everything up to level three. So I have level two and level three headings. Let me fold everything back to level two. I keep my table of contents here in another heading. So after meeting folds, this is the only way that I navigate my markdown documents. I use the outline plugin a lot as well. If I hit leader O and I open it here, I can see the outline on the right hand side. I can go to a specific location. But ever since I'm using folds, I don't need that plugin that much. If you want to know what the key map is to fold and unfold everything, you'll be able to find that video in the video description. So I basically cover everything that I know and everything that I do in markdown files. Notice also that in Neovim, I can link notes together the same way that I do in Obsidian. This is a link to another note. If I press GD, go to definition, it's going to take me to that node and that specific heading. I'm going to press Ctrl O to go back. Notice that I'm back here at the link. And something else that happened in Neovim is that I got used so much to the Neovim motions that I cannot take notes efficiently in Obsidian anymore. What do I mean by this? Let's say that I want to format this part as code. Then I select two words, B E E, and I press G S A tilde. Notice that I added this as code. What if I want to replace this tilde with a quote? GSR tilde quote, and it replaced it. What if I want to get rid of this quote? I can press just GSD quote, gets rid of it. What if I don't want this to be a bullet point anymore? I'm just going to press leader MD. I have a key map for that. Notice that I'm going to press that again, leader MD, and this is a bullet point again. I can easily select a paragraph VIP and copy paste, move it around. Obsidian does have BIM motions, but you cannot do all these advanced things. Let me show you how to do that in Obsidian real quick. If you come to BIMRC support, you enable it and here you specify your vimrc file so whatever you have in your vimrc file is available here in obsidian not all of it because it's not completely compatible but most of the things will work so i can navigate around here using vim motions without an issue i can select text i can copy paste but all of the advanced stuff that i do in neovim they're not possible here notice that i also have the outline here on the right hand side i mean it's nice but i would like to navigate my file i would like to fold it and just navigate through my headings the same way that i do in neovim it's way more organized i don't have all the information here on the screen, but instead I only have what I need and it's not distracting. Another big reason why I switched to Neovim is because I started a blog post. Let me switch to that real quick. Is the one that you see here, github.io. I'm going to hit there, enter, and I edit my blog post the exact same way that I edit any other file in Neovim. Notice that I have folds. I can navigate through them. So creating a blog post for me is really simple. It's just like any other regular markdown file that I have in my Obsidian repo. Let me show you this one real quick. Notice Neovim versus Neovite. What is it benefits? How to install? Neovim 
Nubian versus Neobyte. What is it? Benefits, how to install. Let me go to how to install. Here is the text. If I go back to here, you're going to notice that I have the exact same text here. So it's pretty simple for me to go from here to here. It's not something that I could do in Obsidian. Of course, there is a way to publish your notes in Obsidian with Obsidian Publish, but that is not something that I wanted to try out. Something that some people will bring up is the graph view in Obsidian. Where is that? Oh, here it is. Open graph view. It links all your notes together. If I hover over this, you can see this big note here. Honestly, I don't know what people use this for. I don't get it. I don't understand what its practical use is. I'm not sure if it's something cosmetic or whatever, but I have never used it. I don't see me using it. If I need to search for something in Neovim, I use telescope for that. I just press leader FF. Telescope shows up. I'm using the telescope frequency plugin. So the notes that I use the most show at the top. They have a higher score. So if I type Docker, it's there. If I type, for example, Kubernetes, have a few notes. If I type, for example, Debian, if I need to open that note, I open it easily like that. I can also navigate my open buffers with the Snipe plugin. If I hit Shift L, I can go to any file by pressing a single key. If I press F, I'll go to this test markdown file. As you notice, it took me there. If I want to go back to the previous buffer, I'm just going to press space space. That's the way that I configured the alternate buffer. If I want to search for a specific text throughout my bolt, let's say that I want to search for this. I'm just going to copy this. I press leader SG, paste it, and it shows me on which file that text is, which is docker.md, the one that we have open there. Notice that I'm searching here, script two, shows me all the different nodes, script two, script two. So it searches everywhere inside this working directory. Something else that I configured in Uvim is the daily note. If on my keyboard, I press hyper TR, it's gonna take me to my daily note. If the note does not exist, it's gonna create it. Notice that it created the note today's date and it's automatically going to add this to the note. So it doesn't matter if I'm on my browser, if I press hyper TR, it's gonna take me there and create the note. If the note already exists, it's just gonna switch me to that team accession because as you can see here, it creates a team accession with the name of the note. I can switch to any other team accession like this one, for example. And if I press hyper TR, it's always going to take me to my daily note. And as you can see here, all my daily notes are here. I don't save much in them, but in case they want to keep a journal or something, that could be useful. I'm just going to type something here, testing daily note. It's automatically going to save. Notice auto saved. And here is the note. We could say that one of the few reasons that I still open Obsidian for is to automatically sync my changes to GitHub because I use the Git plugin. It automatically commits and pushes my changes to GitHub. I've been lazy. I haven't configured that, but I think I will so that this repo is pushed without me doing anything. So far, I have been manually pushing the commits in Neovim, but I think I'll do it automatically. We'll see. So as you can see, I don't have a reason to continue using Obsidian as I can basically do everything that I need to do in Neovim. I'm not saying Obsidian is a bad tool. I loved it. I used to talk to my wife about Obsidian every day, multiple times a day. She was already tired of it. But as of now, I don't have the need to go back to Obsidian. I'd like to know what you think. I'd like to know the reasons why you still use Obsidian or if you have also migrated to Neovim or planning to do so. Let me know down in the comments. I hope this video was useful. I'll see you in the next one.